Hi, I'm Greg Farrow from the Packet Pushers. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about SD-WAN over 4G. Now, one of the things that I've just been to at a conference where there was a bunch of managed service providers and telcos telling us how fantastic their MPLS services are and that you should run SD-WAN over MPLS. Now, there are times when running SD-WAN over MPLS is a good idea, but as a general rule, it's an exception. There are countries where bandwidth is poor and internet is controlled, but that's not the core use case. Most of us do business in mainstream countries and we have a few places where there's separate things. You should not confuse the network that exists in a handful of geographies with the main network that you need to handle. You need to separate the two together. Now, SD-WAN over 4G. If you're telling me that 4G doesn't work, I'm going to ask you compared to what? Your typical telco MPLS circuit is kind of a you know, not normally all that performant. Today, if you're using an MPLS circuit, you might actually be putting, say, two 10 megs, and only one of those is active. So you've got IP routing, and you're sending traffic down one, but the other 10 megs is doing nothing. So when you go to SD-WAN, you, first of all, you're going to be activating both of those bandwidths. So when you go to 4G, you can have one, two, three, four, five. You can have multiple 4G circuits. There's no shortage of bandwidth here in a 4G, right? You can have as much as you like. You can back it up with broadband. It's perfectly viable. Uh, the advantages of 4G, of course, is short provisioning time. You just go and get yourself a 4G-enabled SD-WAN product. There's lots of companies out there that make one. Drop the SIM card in, and boom, you're set up. Now, I want you to think about that for a minute. There's a whole bunch of new business options that are now possible when you do that. So pop-up retail stores, you actually just walk in with a box, you know, like the, the, the counter with the cash register, put it there, and then you're in business as far as your technology stack is concerned. You can collect money, conduct payment card transactions. You can literally, provided you can get some juice, get some electricity, you can set up a shop in the middle of nowhere. You could also set up a one day a week office. Why not have an office which is only enabled one day a week and you don't want to have to go to all the hassle of provisioning a broadband service or you don't want to have to hassle of provisioning a, a fixed landline. Just drop in a bunch of 4Gs for a one day a week office. Or what about a mobile office, something in a bus or an RV? One of the issues that people keep throwing in my face is concerns about the performance of 4G networks. So first of all, it depends very much on your geography. So 4G networks in different countries with different telcos don't perform very well. Ever had too many bandwidth problems? Yeah, you have occasionally, but generally it's getting better. And the way to solve that is with a good sub-second failover from your SD-WAN appliance. So if you have a problem on your 4G and you're getting sub-second failover onto another 4G with a different provider or a different SIM card, you'll actually probably be fine. So mostly the people's performance concerns around 4G are overblown. I've certainly heard a number of people who are using 4G. They're not exactly running a 5,000 person office on those things, but you know a 10 person office might actually run perfectly fine. So what I wanted to say is SD-WAN over 4G is definitely doable. There's no reason why you can't have a half a dozen 4G circuits and you should certainly think about doing exactly that. Remember that there's three and a half billion people in the world using smartphones. There's actually a lot more bandwidth in the 4G network than you'd think and the performance is pretty good. I'm Greg Farrow from the Packet Pushers. Thanks for listening. If you like this and you want to see more, head on over to packetpushers.net where we have a whole range of podcasts where you can listen on topics just like this.